Dame Meg Taylor says the reform to the Pacific Plan and the inception of the framework of the Pacific regionalism, which she implemented in a time in office, came from the work of Sam Mekere Morauta, following a long consultation process with the governments and people of the Pacific and will be his legacy in the region. The concerns people had at that time, and, and the years were actually around, uh, I believe, 2013, 2014 is when it was adopted. And those concerns which were expressed to him at that time, it's interesting, still very, are very much on the minds of people now. She described him as a capable bureaucrat who had a strong knowledge of governance. So those qualities helped him um, and to lead a team where he could understand how governments worked, what people wanted of their governments, what was required of the governance arrangements, and as a political leader, how to be able to communicate that the issues that people raised with him and governments raised with him. In the PNG context, Dame Mag described him as a man with great intellect and integrity who understood what it meant to be able to look at systems and structures of governance that will serve his people of PNG and he did this through reforms. Through the financial sector reforms, the work that he did on the banking system, on superannuation, but also going further into the reforms uh, in the defence force. What he thought was and believed was important so that we could make every effort to have a country that we could run and run efficiently. On a personal note, Dame Meg says Sam Meg was a good friend who stood by a family during their trying times. He and Lady Morata and their generosity and kindness to my family when my mother was very ill that could give me another, another five years uh, of our mother's life with our family. And a call for Papua New Guineans during this time of bereavement is to act upon some of what he believed in as a way of remembering this great leader, Ruth Rungula, National MTV News.